Do you believe that some people will be sent straight to hell right after they die? Our Lady just appeared and revealed a shocking truth. She showed that eight Catholics would be cast into hell immediately after their deaths because of the choices they made during their lives. These people, despite their faith, committed actions so seriously that there is no room for redemption once they pass away. It's a terrifying thought, knowing that even those who are Catholic could face such a fate if they stray too far from what is right. Our Lady's warning is clear, the decisions we make in life have real consequences in the afterlife. The people Our Lady spoke of aren't just strangers or unknown faces. They could be famous people you've heard of, or even people close to you, the ones you see every day. Our Lady shared a story about eight individuals who will be thrown into hell after they die because of what they have done in their lives. These aren't distant figures, they could be people in your circle, or those you admire from afar. The message is a powerful reminder that no one is beyond the reach of judgment, no matter their status or how familiar they are to us. Our Lady's story is a warning for all of us to pay attention to how we live and what we choose to do. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. It was a calm evening when Our Lady appeared, her voice soft but filled with warning. She told of eight souls, each tied by the weight of their sins, who would soon be cast into hell. These were not distant strangers but people whose faces were known by many. Their stories were a reminder that even the most familiar faces could face a terrible fate. The first was a wealthy businessman, admired for his success but corrupted by greed. He had built his fortune by exploiting the poor, showing no mercy or compassion. On the day he died, he expected a peaceful passing. Instead, as his soul left his body, it was immediately dragged into the darkness by shadows that whispered of every stolen opportunity and every life he had ruined. His cries were muffled as the gates of hell opened, welcoming him into eternal torment, where he was bound to endlessly count coins that turned into burning embers in his hands. The second was a well-known politician, a figure of power who had lied and manipulated his way to the top. His words had led many astray, and his promises were empty. When he died, he thought he had done enough good to outweigh the bad. But as his spirit drifted away, a cold wind swept him off his feet, pulling him down a narrow, fiery path. He tried to argue, his smooth words failing him, as demons laughed at his deceit. They chained him to a pit, where he would be forced to listen to the cries of those he had betrayed. Next came a woman who was envied by many for her beauty and charm. She had spent her life leading others into sin, using her looks to tempt and destroy families and relationships. At her death, she saw the faces of those she had misled, and her beauty began to melt away. Her body was pulled into a river of flames, where she was surrounded by other souls, all reaching for her, desperate for a way out. But there was no escape, she would remain there, forever haunted by the lives she had ruined. The fourth was a priest, respected and loved by his parish. But behind closed doors, he lived a double life, betraying the trust of the people who had turned to him for guidance. When he passed, he expected to be welcomed into heaven, but instead, he felt a heavy weight pulling him downward. As he descended into hell, the faces of the innocent children he had harmed stared at him with cold, accusing eyes. He was thrown into a pit of darkness, where the screams of the innocent would forever echo in his ears. The fifth soul was a famous artist, adored for his talent but secretly consumed by pride. He had glorified himself rather than giving thanks to God for his gift. When he died, he found himself surrounded by mirrors, each reflecting his life's work, twisted into grotesque, mocking versions. His hands, once skilled, 
were now bound by chains, and the flames rose higher as he screamed, realizing that his talent had become his eternal prison. The sixth was a mother who had neglected her family in pursuit of worldly pleasures. She had abandoned her children, choosing a life of luxury over love and responsibility. In death, she found herself in a barren, cold wasteland. Her cries for help were met with silence, as she wandered, forever searching for the family she had forsaken, but never finding them. She was condemned to feel the emptiness she had caused in the lives of those she had left behind. The seventh soul was a soldier who had fought bravely but had taken joy in violence and cruelty. In life, he had shown no remorse for the pain he caused, and in death, the demons came swiftly for him. His soul was dragged to a battlefield in hell, where the fighting never ended. He was forced to relive every moment of violence he had inflicted, feeling the pain of his victims as if it were his own. Finally, the eighth was a woman who had spent her life gossiping and spreading lies. Her words had torn apart friendships and ruined reputations. When she died, she found herself in a place where every lie she had spoken took form. She was surrounded by twisted, distorted versions of the truth, each one lashing out at her with sharp, stinging tongues. She was left to suffer in a storm of her own making, with no escape from the words that had once brought her so much pleasure. As Our Lady finished the story, her eyes filled with sorrow. These eight souls had lived among others, unnoticed for their sins until it was too late. They had chosen their paths, and now they would face the consequences for eternity. It was a reminder that hell waits for no one and that even those who seem safe can fall if they do not turn away from their sins. If you live in greed, lie to others, or harm those around you without a second thought, you're walking down a dark road. No amount of fame, success, or comfort in this world can save you if your soul is weighed down by sin. If you ignore the call to turn back to God, to seek forgiveness, and to live with kindness and compassion, you are choosing the fate that awaits you after death. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.